shout out to Elise for sending this. Who get mad at me for cheating on you when I told you that my grandma died? Mm. Oh, so a brother can't grieve no more? Exactly. Mm. Yeah. All right, okay. look, icebreaker, man. What are you guys' thoughts about it? Is that what it looks like outside looking in? Some of them, yeah. Some of them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of. <laughs> I, think, I think she's pulling a lot of different ones into one. I think I think we all have uh, been guilty of saying at least one of those things on one of these shows. But I think she's just putting them all on the one show. I don't think I don't think I've ever heard all of that shit said. Well, no, nah, there is one show I can think of where all that shit has at least been said at least once. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh shit. yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, to we me, all, it's just, we all it's just, it was just corny. I mean. But it's just what some of these content creators look like, though. She, <laughs> she, she did a good job of mimicking some of these content creators because they corny as hell. And that's how some of them look, man. And so you wonder why yeah. they're lost. Well, they, they show it by some of the things they say and do how they handle themselves, man. I see why you lonely did a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times people have do have the same talking points right a lot of things that she mentioned this particular um content creator actually does this a lot about um you know what she calls alpha male podcast so a lot of people do ask the same things it, like a lot of stuff she said what well, body count whether it's um you know a woman's pay it seems like everybody's just reading from the same book um, I mean, even me, I, I'm guilty of some of those questions, but at least I would say I try to get to the bottom of things, the whys and, you know, stuff like that. I don't want it to because th- the one thing I don't like to be is like everybody else. You understand that there is certain things that um, are going to get you in the algorithm. But then at the same time, you don't want to be like everybody because it's just echo chambers. Right. Right. Nobody gets anything out of that. And when you start to all sound the same, people are definitely going to lose interest because it's corny. Like, who wants to keep hearing the same thing over and over and over? You're not. What's the what's the end game? Right. We we tell women about this who, who behave in that manner. Right. We say, what's the end game? Where are you leading people to? Right. Are, are you just going to um, berate these women? Are you just going to dog them out? Or are you actually trying to get to the bottom of it? Are you trying to get them to understand the male point of view? And. A lot of times you have to understand how people are going to receive it, right? And they, if you, we could talk to each other, we already know all the problems with women. We have to get through to women, right? So if they don't understand what it is and they won't receive us because we don't know how to engage with them, then it's just going to be a vicious cycle. So we have to be able to talk to them in a way that they can understand and, and at least want to listen to you because you know how that goes. A lot of times women don't want to hear what a man has to say. So you have to be... Um, careful is how you articulate that information to them um i was gonna say uh you ask what's the end goal a lot of them get paid a whole lot of money to do it and they come in it's the same show same format weekend and week out and they super chats be ridiculous so i mean we know why they do it you know what i mean it's the same it's, it's the same formula we all follow it at some point you know what i mean it works it works to get a lot of people to to go, you know what I mean? But I would hope that that's not what we're doing over here, you know. I would hope that we're trying our best to get through to women um, and men alike. But, yeah, as far as what's going on in that, in that regard to what she's making fun of, we know what it does. That's how, you, that's how you wind up seeing a show where they invite the same type of women on there week in and week out. And... It just gets the crowd going and they upset at the women who get on that show and they like to see that content. So until that becomes not uh, less until that becomes obsolete, they're going to keep getting paid off of it because they love the content. I think they forgot some. I think she forgot some. <laughs> what, what you got in mind? <laughs> um, hey, how y'all feel about women? I love women. Simp, simp, simp. Hey, hey. Um, if, if would you help your uh hold the door open for a woman? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna look out for him. Weak beta male. <laughs> or uh, let me see. Oh, you, you man, gonna have no, sex woman. on the first date? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had sex on the first date because I, 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 I had a vibe. Vibe. Oh, see, this is the logic of these women. 
or yeah oh you like women like 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 women nigga you gay that's the last one I heard. <laughs> if you like women you gay that, that's the last one <laughs> nigga you gay <laughs> yeah that's crazy hey relationship talk we can't hear you i got you on mute let me take you off all right go ahead i think the number one uh peace is blessed with everyone um uh, i think the number one thing that we hear is uh um what do you bring uh to the table uh i don't bring that home i think that's like the number one thing we've all been guilty of uh asking uh, especially a lot of across a lot of uh, podcasts and that women complain about that you know the shoe was on the other foot, um, and it, it crawls up their skin. The same way that they respect us to bring to the table, they hate that that we literally ask it. We literally just talked about this the other day. It just gets in it just gets in their shoes. It just crawls in their skin like parasites when we ask them what they bring to the table and they can't answer it. And I think that's the number one thing that we have we that we have ammunition to ask that that they don't really they they don't really ask it that much but they say that we ask it a lot and we talk about it through our shows mm -hmm. like that all right anybody else got anything you want to add on the icebreaker all right going once going twice go ahead Sweeney you want to say something no, nah, no, nah, I'm good. 